Hi everybody, welcome along for our Sunday afternoon uh, live. That's all I need to say about that, I think. Um, it's been really nice. A lot of you have uh, popped over to my new shop, Made Me, and favourited it or whatever it's called there. So thank you very, very much for doing that. I really appreciate that. And uh, thank you to the people who purchased things as well. Um, today, well, we finished the trifold yesterday, so I've had to think of something else to do for today. Um, and so I puzzled all last night and then through the night it came to me. <laughs> Doesn't that always happen that you have your best ideas through the middle of the night? Uh, so I got up anyway and I jotted it down in my black book of ideas and things that I should be remembering that if I don't write down I've got no chance of remembering uh, and this is it this is uh, kind of what I thought of it's a little folio well it's going to be a folio when it's finished um, and it opens up and has an envelope on the end so what I've used is the papers I've used are uh, shabby no no they're not at all chapter one papers and it's i think it's called shabby purple floral shabby purple floral the link's underneath anyway um the the nice papers yeah definitely nice papers and in the middle i've gone for something completely different for me i saw this kit the other day on etsy and it i don't know why it i just liked it um the link is below now. I really can't remember whose kit it is. So sorry. I did try and remember, but I've forgotten. Um, and I, I just thought it sort of made a nice inside for this. But like a suitcase sort of thing. You know, it's nice and flowery on the outside and then you open it up and it... I don't know. I just kind of liked it. I don't know how it's going to work with all the ephemera. Um... The shabby lilac ephemera. I might have made a mistake, but we'll see what we shall see. The The thing is that I do have A3 paper in this size. And if you've got A3 paper, just use it. Um, it'll save you having to join it. But I know that a lot of you haven't. And so I've made it so it's A4 friendly or equivalent US size, obviously. Uh, and the only other thing you need is an envelope. And I this is... Uh, this is the envelope as was, and I've chopped it down, as you can see. And it's just, you know, it's a little bit shorter in height. Um, but it doesn't matter. You could put a much smaller one on if you wanted to. It doesn't It doesn't matter. Um, I seem to have a stock of these. Um, I've no idea where they came from, but I, I do seem to have some, so I'm using them. Uh, right, so the first thing to do is to make the sort of carcass, make the frame that we then stick all the papers on. So I have that written down somewhere. Yeah, see, there's my my workings out. It's my Etsy list. <laughs> my Etsy shops. And uh, this was my first incarnation, which I decided I didn't like so much. And then I've got this split into two. So that's... Uh, this is what I first thought I'd make it in, the Bella Beatrice one from um, Antique Papery. And I might yet make a one in that, actually, because that's gorgeous paper, that Bella Beatrice. And they're so reasonable, aren't they, on um, Antique Papery? When you just go there and you think, oh, it's just another 58p in another one. And then you go to the checkout and suddenly it's £17. Ooh. <laughs> oh well you know we all do it so um right i'm gonna to have to leave that open somewhere otherwise i haven't really got a clue what i'm doing now i'm using paper that's 160 gsm you really kind of don't have to i don't think you could use your ordinary paper because you back it on the inside and you back it on the outside with paper as well and this has come out now it's fairly thick not that that's a bad thing um, but I'm, I think you could get away with slightly less thickage in the paper department. Right, so taking our first sheet, 
Should we do roll call or are we too early for roll call? Oh, never too early. Okay. Never, never too early. Just before I start. Just before you start. Well, hop to trot was Terry again. <laughs> well done, Terry. And Jean. Hello, Jean. Nice to have you with us. Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Denise. Bernice, hello. Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Helen. Hello, Helen. Creative Nana, aka Sheila. Hello, Sheila. Helen Princeton. Helen. Helen. Yeah. Helen or oh, Helen? Princeton. Helen. Hello, hello. Helen. Uh, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Hilda. Hello, lovely Hilda. Lynn Griffiths. Hello, Lynn. Kathleen. Hello, Kathleen. Smiler. Hi, Jania. Susan Peavey. Hello, Susan. Sylvia Uglinid. <laughs> oh, he's just mauled your name. Silji. Silja. Silji. S I L J E. Celia, I suppose. I'm sorry, we've butchered your name. I'm sorry. Welcome. <laughs> Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Nice to see you. Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Jure. Hi, Jure. Jan Ann. Hi, Jan. I think that possibly. Leslie M. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Zanet. Hi, Flo. Jen Crafts to Inspire from Australia. Oh, hello. Zanet. I just said that and Flo and yeah, that was hello. it. Yeah, got all them. Excellent. Yeah, I think so. If I missed you, shout out. Um, Kerry. Hi. <laughs> Nearly missed you. Right. So this is the first part of it. And this is going to be this part here. So I'm going to leave my paper at the at the width. I'm not going to cut it down because when I come to put my fancy papers on, they're going to be that size anyway, because I've got borderless printing. If you haven't got borderless printing, you need to find out how um, wide your page is when it's printed and cut this down to the appropriate size. It's easier to do it now um, than later. So what I need is a pencil. And I need a, I need three inches here, and then a score line. Um, I made mine my um, spines at three quarters of an inch, and to be honest, I think that might be just a bit generous. I am going to put a journal in here, um, and there'll be pockets and stuff. But I think you could get away with half an inch. I think that would be all right. So uh, three, then a score, then a half inch, then a score, then five and a half, then a score, and then another half. So that's what I'm going to score that at. Okay, three inches, half an inch, five and a half, and a half. Write it down. I'll say it again as I'm scoring it. I mean, you can mess around with these measurements if you like, but, you know, maybe make on these measurements first and then you'll see how you can mess around with them to suit yourself. So I'm making a score line at three inches. OK, I'm making another one half an inch beyond that. So that's at three and a half. And if you work in centimetres, I'm really sorry, but my brain just doesn't go there. It just doesn't. Like when the, the doctor says, you know, what height are you? I'm five foot seven. Oh, that's one meter blah de blah, is it? I don't know. I could be anything. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. It's just a foreign language to me. And then five and a half. So that uh, three and a half plus five and a half. So one, two, three, four, five and a half. So that's at nine. That sounds about right to me. So another score line down there. And then another score line half an inch beyond that. So nine and a half. So I'll just run through it again where I'm scoring. 
So I've scored at three, three and a half, nine and nine and a half. Okay. So I'll just set that aside just for a sec. We'll need it again in a minute. And I'm going to use my last, the last score line that I made to cut off. That's my cutting line. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Just avoided the naughty step there, hasn't she? Maybe. <laughs> right, so that's that. We'll just mark the um, score lines in before we go any further. Just as, as you mark them, make sure that they're absolutely square before you really, really crease them in. It's not the most complicated of makes, this. It does look nice, I think. Um, but I dreamt it up, so it's not that complicated. And just crease that last one in there. Like so. Right, okay. So now we've got the three inches one. We've got the spine which is half an inch got five and a half inches for the back as it were and then this which is going to be half a spine okay with me with me guys right so moving on to the next one the next part of the puzzle another sheet of whatever paper you're using cut to the width of you, that your printer prints to. So on here we need, oh, this is straightforward. We just need to score half an inch, which is the spine. And then five and three eighths. And that's just, it's an eighth less than the five and a half along the back, just so it sits nicely and doesn't, push this spine out which sometimes they do so I need five and three eighths so one two three four five and three eighths hi Julie I was just thinking Julie's not on I was just thinking that Julie's got a new video up and I'm dying to see it <laughs> but I have to wait Till I've done what I'm doing. I did. Oh, you yeah. didn't. Oh, I'm slack. S slack Sunday. So this uh, piece here is going to be this piece here. Okay. So we need to cut it off on that last score line that we made. And I've just scored it simply so I can see where to cut it, not because it, I need it to um, bend. Right, so this piece is surplus to requirements, really. So I'm just going to crease this um, fold in. Right, see how easily it's coming together. So keep your three inches on the right hand side. And this spine that we have here on the left of the first piece got marries up with the spine on the right of the second piece can you see what i'm talking about because i'm probably not explaining it overly well see they go like that married ah oh. so i'm going to stick those down simple as that um <laughs> <laughs> Not simple at all because I've lost my glue. Here we go. So I'm just going to put glue on there. Oh, I must be excited today. I'm all shaky. It's another exciting Miss Paint a lot life. Come on. That's two days in a row you've claimed you're excited. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a blue moon messaging, is it? Yeah, if I keep telling them I'm excited, they might believe it. I know I'm not exciting, guys. Don't don't worry. So 
So I'll just get my little glue board out because I don't want to get glue on my board if I can help it. So this just fits onto the top of there, not beyond the bend, obviously, because then it won't bend. So just fold it up to the bend, but not beyond it. And let's have a look and see. Yes, lovely. With the coll all you get just a kind of minute to think about things, which is good. So that's fine. Let's just um, press that down. Make sure everything folds as it should. Yeah, lovely, lovely, jubbly. Right, so there we are. We've got a spine there in this one. Yeah, spine here, there, and a flap that comes over the front. So that really, honestly, isn't too complicated. The thing that we want to do now is make this into a point, which which is what I wanted. I wanted a point on it. I did think, first of all, about putting a, a sort of semicircular piece on there. Now, it's entirely up to you. You can if you want. Whatever makes you happy, really. I just fancied a point. So different. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just make a little mark there on that uh, crease line and get my ruler and find out where the center point is of this measures eight and a quarter of course because we haven't cut anything off it so that's four and an eighth there and then i'm just going to line those two up my book's taking over i'm going to have to move my book I don't think we need it anymore actually there's nothing beyond that in the book um for what's coming up this is what's coming up next okay <laughs> whole lot of nothingness i'll think of something don't worry don't worry right so get that lined up and get that taken off And that's surplus to our requirements. Same thing with this oh. side. Ah, oh, Dixie! <laughs> so line that up and take it off. And there we have it. That is the basis for our folio. Okay. Make sure that you line it up with the right line. It's that, that line that you want to line it up with and there you can see when we fold it over we've got ourselves a cute little journal which when it's filled of course will sit nice and flush so what i did then basically and i um, i don't need to, ugh, calls erupting it's erupting I didn't put the lid on. Um, yeah, I'm not going to, you know, go through it. You all know how to stick paper onto paper. Um, you just need to decide what paper you're going to use, which paper. And what I did was I, I did the whole of the outside and then I came to do the inside. And I did that because when you put your circles on with your brad in the middle or your... Um, eyelet <laughs> could you feel the vibrations there that was like serious thinking um i put a brad on so when i put it through of course you can see it on this side so you want to make sure that you've got all of that done before you come to put this paper on the inside which then covers it over um, i put the brad in and then i put a couple of layers of um, the micropore tape that i use Masking tape would work equally well. Just something to take the sharpness of it so it doesn't cut through that paper. Um, and the same with this one. Okay, so make sure that you've got your outside paper on first and the brad in place before you put your inside paper. The other thing that you need to do before you put your inside paper on is do your envelope. Um, I'll do that now so as you can see exactly what's what what's what hmm. 
so this time on this occasion i'm using a blue one because my next well i could use pink yeah could use blue or pink i'm going to use pink i get the feeling this next one's going to be edith holden and she's quite a pink pinky sort of purple a pink a pinky purple person pinky purple person i didn't even mean to say that it's a tongue twister <laughs> So what happens is you get your flap of your envelope out, you stick it down there on the edge. So when it folds, it's nicely folded on that edge. Then you put your inside paper on. So you're covering over this flap and you're securing your envelope down. Okay. Then you cover the front and the back, taking care with this. I've shown you how to do that before. Um, and then I needed on this occasion to trim some off my envelope because you can see there it just goes beyond the score line where that folds and I wanted to put a journaling card in it anyway so I've cut mine down to there which is a good half inch five eighths of an inch probably um, I cut off the envelope which is fine because you want a pocket, it wants to be a pocket anyway. So, you know, you've sealed that end down. So opening that end, it's not a big deal. So that's that. Is everybody with me? Everybody with me? Um, any, anybody not with me? Tony what? Vince says hi. Who? Tony Vince. Hiya. Thanks for joining. Jean is the joker in the pack. Yeah, correct, Justin. Yes, Hilda, you've got it pegged as well. Um, Esther, sweet pea papers, you with me? I'm with you. Yes, with you. Right, great, marvellous. Let's crack on then. So you can all make that and then it's up to you pretty much how you decorate things, right? So I have cut out this morning each and every bit of ephemera that came with this kit. Uh, there's a fair bit of it. It's a good size kit. You get all these lovely stamps. Look, they're gorgeous. Um, some labels. Um, a little round of a butterfly. And there was also a smaller one, but I haven't got a punch to cut it out. So um, that was the only thing in the whole kit that I didn't uh, cut out. Uh, stamps, stamps, stamps. I cut all these with my decal edged scissors, as you can see. They make quite a nice job of it. Julie's got decal edged scissors, haven't you, love? Yeah. Um, and these are the tags, all backed in coffee stained paper. How organised was I this morning? Um, so these are they. Uh, there's some little journaling cards which I've also backed. Then you get corner tuck pockets, little pockets, seed packets, uh, pocket, pocket, another corner tuck spot, label. I don't really know what that is. Label, I suppose. Uh, pansy thingy, pansy thing. And then you get. Um, that's a little journaling card, but there's a little seed packet it fits into somewhere. Um, journaling card, journaling card. That's pretty, isn't it, that one? Um, and then you get... <coughs> oh, not, a, not again, Frog. I can live without you. You get these four uh, journaling cards, which are the same as the full-size design sheets, just the printed four to a page which of course now everybody could do themselves anyway. So you get four of those. Um, then you get this seed packet. Nice size. And then this is from a sheet, a design paper sheet that I have cut out um, to be my huge journaling card in my envelope. Okay, so that fits into there. I backed it with um, 
coffee stained paper. Haven't ink drowned it yet, but it fits into there nicely. And I just need to put a tab on it, so I'm just going to do that now. Let me just find out where halfway is. Weight of paper is your ephemera on? My ephemera is on 120, but I've backed it in coffee stained uh, 120 as well. It's all together now, it's 240, I guess, if it works that way. And it's matte photo paper, isn't it? Yeah, matte photo paper. Thank you. Uh, right, so that's seven and three quarters. Oh no. Another contortionist's one. So half a seven is three and a half, and half of three quarters is three eighths. So three and seven eighths. Convenient measurement, isn't it? Three and seven eighths is my centre. That look about right. My math's letting me down. No, I think that's about right. And I've cut out a tab with my lovely punch from the lovely Hilda um, in a, a soft lilac colour. I'm seeing if this card's got a right side, I think it has. So I'm just going to fold that over. And that mark is just a guide so as I don't get too lost. Um, putting my my tab on. I think you could have real fun uh, decorating this. I'm going to have a go at that one that we've just made. But as I say, I'm probably going to use Edith papers for it. I am really lucky. I've got an Edith CD. Um, and of course, then you've got loads more images than just, well, the book. Oh, dear. I hate cutting up the Edith books. Right. So let's get this stuck on. Oh, thank you, my love. My coffee has arrived. You're welcome. So it's about... Oh no, down a bit, about that. So I'll just get that squared up there and there. And if you wanted to sew around this, sew around it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, sew around it by all means. I mean, you know, it would look lovely. I don't know where all my wet wipes have gone. Dry wet wipes. They've disappeared on me. I don't know where they are. Oh, snack time. Snack time. Today sponsored by... Bertie Bassey. <laughs> well done, Kerry. Did she guess? Yeah. <laughs> Hi Connie. <laughs> hi Connie. Uh, did we say hi Connie? I don't remember saying hi Connie. Hi. So yeah, it would be a good time to ink round it and sew around it if, if that's what you want to do. I might decide to do that later. I'm, I'm, I don't know yet. So this is going to go into here and let's just double check that it now fits with that um, tag tab tab on it. In you go. You know you want to. Yeah, that's fine. My fold line's there, so that's just just inside it. Yep, lovely. Okay, so let's let's decorate, shall we? Why not? What I thought I would do, and this is as far as I've got. The rest of it is just winging it. Um, these two little uh, pockets that come in the kit. I thought I could put those on like like this, sideways on, with uh, a journaling card of some description. Does that fit in there? Yeah. With that in one and that in the other. But they look just a little... Well, this one looks very flat because it hasn't got anything on it. But... They do come, as I showed you, with lay. This kit comes with labels. So what I thought I would do is use that label there. 
because it's pretty similar to that one. And I could either use a stamp or I could use that little um, butterfly roundel there. Just just something to kind of sort of match it up a little bit. Um, where are the, where have all the stamps gone? Under here. Let's see what we've got and see what looks best. I do quite like that little butterfly though, it's quite nice. These are gusseted pockets, so they're not wanting to sit flat. That's quite nice. That'll take some beating, I think. I'll go with that. Oh, let's just try that one. <laughs> yeah, that's quite nice. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with that. I like that. Right, then. So... I just need to ink around here because with the decal edges, as you do sometimes get, if you're right on the edge, you do sometimes get a bit of white showing through. Um, I'm going to have to use this brush. I don't know if it works like this. Oh yeah, of course it does. I haven't inked the rest of this. For one thing, chapter one kind of pseudo ink it for you um i kind of wish they wouldn't really because i like to decide what color i want to ink but that's the way it comes right so i'm going to stick that on there and stick my stamp on Let's see where we're at then i just looked at the clock there because i thought i wonder if it's been 15 minutes yet it's been over half an hour. Where does the time go? That vanishes. Come on, glue. I thought I'd use Aileen's because it would be nice and easy. Forget it. You're off the Christmas card list. Let's go back to the good old collar. I'm just using the finer tip one because... It's only a little bit, this label, it's just a little, a little thing. So yeah, that's how I spent my morning, cutting out, backing things, trying to get prepared for this. But you know, as we know, I think it's about right there. Stick my stamp on. Now I think um, I've used quite a lot of lace on mine, which you don't have to. I just like lace. I like the look of it. Let's just pop that down there. There we go. It's pretty. Yeah, I mean, as you see, if you turn, if I turn it over. I have used a lot of lace on mine. There is a space here where the the um, spines are, and what I intend to use uh, for for those is this. It's a sort of um, it's like a herringbone weave. Can you see that? Uh, so it's very firm, and I think that will go nicely down those spines and just protect it a little bit when I put the. Uh, journal in you know the journal signature in so one there and one there I think that'll add to the overall niceness <laughs> niceness of it right so let's have a look at this envelope this way on then so my intention is to put one there one there but I think they get a little bit lost in this background I will say that background may have been a mistake although I do love it so what I'm going to do to kind of sit them forward a little bit is add some lace so just along the tops along there I think that'll look better so I'm going to do that now so from this point on I don't know what you're learning 
not much so if you want to go away i understand i may cry but i do understand it's just watching an old lady dither basically so i'm going to use fabri-tac it's just been filled up this morning so it's a little on the lively side and i don't want it to go over i want i want it just flush there This is one of those occasions when you could do with Mabel's uh, hair straightness to iron your lace. But oddly, when you when you stick it on, it just doesn't argue with that fabric tack, I'll tell you. It just goes straight on, like so. So let's cut those off flush with the edges. And then make sure that you've got them stuck down the sides as well otherwise they do lift up and they do fray and they do look awful so make sure you're sticking it to the top there's more fabric tack there than i need i'll just tell you that So just place it on and kind of get it started and then just push along like so. You all know that I really uh, like Cosmic Shimmer products uh, and so last night I got a message from somebody, not saying who, Jan. Telling me that Cosmic Shiver were having a programme on one of the shopping channels. Oh, John, what are you doing to me, girl? Right, so are they... No, that's not all nicely stuck on. It needs a bit more glue down that side. Like I say, make sure that you do have the ends really nicely stuck. Because they'll, they'll come up and they'll, they fray as they come up. So... They start to look nasty before you get the opportunity to stick them down properly. So there's our nice two little pockets, which we shall place in a moment once I've read what you're up to. Um, oh, thank you, Jania. Yeah. Oh, Rose. It'd be awful, wouldn't it, if I looked up and there was nobody there? <laughs> <laughs> you, said, you said we could go by. <laughs> that would be awful. I know, it really would. So what I'm going to do now is stick my pockets on here. I'm going to make some little <clears throat> marks for myself so I know where they're going. Right, these have got to go in them. And I want that just in there like that. Okay. So let's just make a mark there. I'm hanging on to the card, which doesn't help. I'll make that mark there and then we'll take and we'll measure the other one off it. So there, and that's the bottom of it. That's the top of it. I'm not sure these are exactly the same, are the same width. Yeah, they are. So that, that's all right. Okay, so that mark there, I'm sure there's easier ways to do this, you know. But um, if I don't measure, I just get it wrong all the time. Just, just depressing. I can't see my marks. Oh yeah, there we go. Found one. Right, that's three quarters of an inch then in from the bottom. So let's make that mark. There's so much stuff encroaching on my desk today, it's ridiculous. Three quarters of an inch in from the bottom. So that's that mark there. Uh, and it is three eighths of an inch in from the side let's make a mark there and the rest's going to take care of itself as nothing hopefully let's just check i've got this the right way up so i'm going to stick these down then they they come gusseted like that so you just fold them over as you all know i'm sure 
And a little bit of collal does the trick. I'm very fond of a good gusset. A good gusset. It's one of those words, isn't it, gusset? But it's what they're called. It's, I think it's something like, you know, like we don't say belly band. I think it's something we need to invent a word for because gusset is just, it, it's virgin on being rude. Well, flap's not going to cut it then. <laughs> There's the look. So if anybody can think of a nice word that we can call our gussets, please let me know. Right, so I want that on that line there and on... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's my line? There. Yeah, lovely. That's grand. I really need to find a, a dry wet wipe. I have no idea where they've gone. They've disappeared on me. Right, so let's just press that down, apply a bit of pressure and do the same thing to the other one. I, ha I had a whole pile of them so that, you know, they can't, I haven't used them all. I don't know where they are. Lynn Whitman took pity on me and sent me two packs of baby wipes because I am forever losing them. So what I intend to do is take the top off one of the packs and let it dry out completely. So I have a whole pack of dry wet wipes. Dry baby wipes, dry wet wipes just sounds silly. Right, so let's get this one measured up as well. It goes there, it goes there. Lovely. They should be pretty straight really. They should be. Get that glue wiped up. Good job I've got a glue rubber. Although actually they're not too bad. Right, so there we are. We've got our two pockets. Which don't look too bad. That looks like it wants to fray, you see? If you're just not that vigilant. It catches up with you. There we are. Stick down. Stick down. Okay, so we've got our two journaling cards that are going to go in there once it's dry. I'm not putting them in yet because I've done that before and been caught out. When you're going to take them out, you can't because you've glued them to the pocket. Um, I do, however, think that they could use a little bit of decoration of some sort. They, they look quite plain really um, and I do want to lilac this whole Jen says hi hi Jen wondered where you were um, so I'm not really flush in the purple department for ribbon um, but I do have this one which is nice satin trimmed organza ribbon I've got this I've got that, but I, I don't think, oh, says she, Ooh. quite like that, yeah. just there, like that, or maybe just even two, no, maybe three, yeah, I quite like that, Mm. I was going to put just a tag in the top, but I think I like that better. So that's what I'm going to do. People just... are suggesting fold-overs or spacers. You could see. Oh, yes. Fold-overs, yes. Spacers. Mm. like that too. Well, vote with your fingers. Tell us what you like better explain to Jen what's going on actually she think we've gone mad so if I put that, that there ship sailed. That, that ship's gone has it <laughs> and uh, three on the other side just 
is working out which is the right and the wrong side. So yeah, if I had those like that, I think that looks quite nice actually. Yeah, I'm all right with that. Now Jen's here, I'm probably going to be forced to put some gems in it. Jen that says spaces is easy on the tongue. Spaces, yeah. And Miranda Holmes says hi. Hi Miranda, thanks for joining. She's late but the rescue dog arrived. Oh really? How exciting, what an exciting day for you. I hope he turns out to be slightly better behaved than our rescue dog. Poor Bobby, I dread to think what's happened in his life prior to meeting up with us. But uh, blimey, he does like to tell you about it. Every opportunity he gets. Right, so I'm just going to leave that there to, to dry. Might be a while because I've put quite a bit of uh, glue onto it. Because it's funny stuff, this. It's really adverse to sticking sometimes. So there we go. That wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. Jen says, Miss Treff turned out okay. <laughs> <laughs> she would take me back to the pound. Still, it's still possible. Don't think it's not. Right, so that's the envelope side of life sorted. Um, at least on the inside. We need to think about what we might want to add to the outside because we've got room. I've got plenty of room in this journal, but I'll just pop those there to just to dry. Right, so moving along, we come to here. Now, I quite like this big seed packet, but not as a seed packet. I quite like it as like a corner tuck, maybe. There is another seed packet, this one. And it might be even prettier actually but of course it's not so big but I could probably get everything I need tucked into there do you think I do have the option of using one of the corner tucks which I have no idea where they've gone uh, yeah one of these I could use one of those which has got spaces on it so you know it would allow quite a bit to go into it See how it just readily slipped into spacer. So I could have that and I could still tuck that into there, couldn't I? As well as a journaling card and something else. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's... I think that's what I'm going to do. It's either that or that. Have I only got one corner? Yeah, the other one goes the other way. This one goes that way. And I don't, I don't want it to go that way. So this one it is then, right, okay. I'm just going to crease my folds in. Crease my spacers, sorry. I'm just going to use my scoring tool. And down here too. So they should crease in quite readily. I'm just creasing them this way first because that's the way they want to crease. So if you get a crease in that way it just makes it easier when you fold it over it just wants to go. There we are. It's got a little bit there. Should just chop off. It's just a bit right in the corner. Okay. So before I put that in, is there anything I want to decorate that with? I don't think there's anything I want to decorate it with that I can't do after it's 
just cutting these off because you can sort of see them from the right side. They don't look very appealing. Do I want to put lace down there? In all likelihood, yes. It's just going to look prettier, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Look at the difference that makes. Just takes it from mundanity to pretty. So, yeah, that's what's going to have to happen there. I'm going down the side a little bit so as I can catch those ends. Is Mike not with us today then? Not even listening. I've not seen him. No. Might be looking over Jen's shoulder, of course. It's true. He could be. Or it could be taking the opportunity for a break. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which sounds very sensible. Right, so before I cut that, I'm just going to check that I really have got that stuck down yet yeah, on the sides. And is this one stuck down? Yeah, okay. So I can quite happily cut those off, flush with the edges. Jen says he's there and making breakfast. Oh, good lad. Right. I'll just put the top on my Fabri-Tac. We've had plenty of eruptions this morning with the blinking collar. So where do I want that to be exactly? I quite want it in from the edge a little bit. The biggest thing likely to be going in there is one of the journaling cards. I'm not going to make anything larger than that. So if that's the biggest thing, yeah, that's all right. We can probably do a little collage up there, I think. So yeah, I'm happy with that there. Uh, I'm just going to get my ruler out so I don't go off the straight and narrow, which is very easy for me to do. There's my bend. So I'm just going to make it about half an inch in from the bend no five eighths i think five eighths would be good like that no half that's a bit too much yeah there yeah lovely okay i'll leave that there and i'll come up half an inch when i stick it on you lot don't have to go through all this rigmarole if you can see square just it really bugs me when things aren't straight so I have to measure them uh, Jen's asking about the background collage yeah the background collage Jen um, I'd like to say oh yeah it took me a couple of days to do this but actually it's a digital it's a digital from print from who <laughs> I don't know, I've put it underneath the thing, I, I wrote it down somewhere. Um, uh, Paper Princess Digital. There you go, Jen. And in the set, there's this beige one, there's a pink one, there's a blue one, and a green one. So there's, you know, and it's not, it really, really wasn't expensive. Um, I just thought it would make a nice background, something different um, from, you know, the norm from what I normally do, which is, you know. And like I was saying earlier, if you'd been here earlier, Jen, um, I don't know, but somehow it reminds me of a suitcase that there's your sort of suitcase and it's all pretty and everything. And then when you open it up, it looks like this inside. And, you know, and I can understand that you don't see what I'm going on about, but that's what it reminds me of. Right, so we've got our corner pocket on there. Um, I'm just going to lay that on top, which gives us this section here to pretty up. So what we're going to put on here then to pretty it up. Let's go have a look and see if I've got any purple butterflies. You never know. Where's the butterfly box? I don't know. 
day because she was showing me some. Oh yeah, here it is. Butterflies. Let's just have a look and see what we've got in here. Actually, the yellow one's too too much the same. And that one is go away with your yellow. Okay. Um, I just thought that I might have some ah some purple ones. They might add a bit of interest to proceedings. See how many I've got. It's not that I'm butterfly obsessed, ladies and Mike. Not in any way. <laughs> I'm quite sure everybody has a butterfly box like mine. Ooh, look at that one. That's metallic. Nice. Oh, you know, I think I'm getting shorter butterfly. <laughs> Certain ones getting a bit short of purples. Got loads of pinks, but that's not any good for us today. There's purple. Yay. Now I'm going to have to cut some more purples out at some stage, I think. Let's just check and go through again and just have another check, just on the off chance I've missed one. I do have, um, uh, you know, the wildflower die cuts. I've got some of those already cut, but I think they're getting to be quite predictable, really. I see everybody, Weldon, his wife is using uh, wildflower die cuts, so... I'm, I'm just trying to steer clear of those for a couple of things. I mean, it might come that I use them. They're, they're so handy, that's why everybody uses them. Pop that away. Right, so I have got this plethora now of butterflies. Um, so I'll leave that one out. It looks like it might be about the right size. Pop those two somewhere convenient. Um, I mean, there are butterflies in this kit, so it's not, you know, I'm not stretching the bounds. It's a little butterfly, excuse me, there. That roundel is a butterfly. There are butterflies around the place, so... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. More coffee, Vicar. So, I'm thinking... Jenny says she's a flight attendant. Really? That's freaky, isn't that it? That is really freaky. Tell them why. No, carry on, you do. Right. Uh, whilst I was going around the charity shops the other day, I found a Pears Cyclopedia from 1963. And one of the sections in it was a list of jobs that were available at the time. And it opened up on the page and one came up was uh, Flight Attendant. And it had the wages, what you needed to do to apply, what skills you needed. And I read it out this morning to Miss P. That's freaky. Uh, it, it is. And I can tell you at the time you could got £434 a year. <laughs> Wouldn't get you that far, would it really? Um, I quite like just that. I like the, the pansies. I like that butterfly. I'm just going to double check that... Um, that that fits in there. Right, so that goes there. Yeah, so I do need to move it up a bit. Because this is just decoration. It's not um, for anything else. It's not going to have a purpose otherwise, other than looking pretty. But I think it does look pretty. I quite like that. You seem a long way away from me today. Seem to be journaling in the distance. Uh, you think? Yeah, I do. I think we we pulled it out because I was going to make the do the construction. Well, you'd have to push it forward though if you want me to. Well, I'll push it. it forward. Hang on a minute. God, what a diva! I know. Right, let me lean back. It's probably for the best. Tilt it that way slightly. Okay. And then we'll 
coming slightly re. How's that? Is that any better? It, it was better further in, I think. A little bit further in. Yeah, that's better. Do you think that's better, guys? Seem to be a long way away. Right, so uh, well, just while I'm waiting for that pocket to dry, dry properly, I'm going to put this on. Um, so, literally just going to stick that on. Nothing more exciting. I hope that you have a go at making that trifold that I was making yesterday. Uh, I can't remember who it was said that they'd done one or they were almost finished one and they really wanted to do another one. It's one of those projects. It's uh, really good fun to make. So if you do them, please put them on the group. You know, we all love to see... Oh, blimey, I measured me halfway. Um, where am I? There, so that's uh, two and a half. So it's about there. That doesn't look right, does it? In any way, shape or form. Inch and a quarter and an inch. So it needs to come that way. Does that look right? Well, better than it was, but it doesn't look right. I'm now going to find out that it's not tall enough, aren't I? It's not high enough on the page. Oh, oh come on. This is just as wrong as wrong can be. Right, okay. I think that's about it. I managed to get glue, as you can see, everywhere. But I'll leave that and I'll... um. It'll come off. It'll rub off. As you can see when it dries, it rubs off. See, that's what happens if I don't make a mark. If I don't mark it, um, I'm done for. I'm completely done for. But fortunately, I have a glue rubber. Which is just like your finger, apart from it's got more friction. It just rolls up all the glue so you can cover up your boo-boos. Which I make plenty of. We all do, I'm sure. Can't just be me. There's marks on the collage paper underneath that I thought were glue that I'm trying to rub out. So anyway, that's that. Job done. Right. So let's see. Uh, are these dry yet? Yeah. So they can go into these pockets so we can feel like we're making progress. That goes into there and that goes into there. that's them in properly right so this envelope it's got a big journaling card in the middle with a tab on it's got these two pockets on and these two journaling cards so pretty much for the inside that's that pocket envelope pocket finished i mean that's a very nice image there you may choose just to leave that or you may choose to you know make a, a took spot out of something like this and took something into it. I very well might do that, actually. Uh, anyway, back to the journaling card situation. Oh, I was going to use this, wasn't I? I was going to tuck this in here. Yeah, let's do that then. I'll just score it along the lines, make it easier to work with. It is a nice kit this, um, but it's printed out quite dark. The, the suggestion when I bought it, you know, on the on the page was uh, to print it out on cream card. And I, I'm kind of glad I didn't do that really, because this is as dark as I would want it. 
But of course we all have different tastes. But I do love this colour, so um, it's got that going for it most definitely. So I'm, I'm just going to fold these this way first. That's the way they want to fold. And it comes with loads of ephemera. But if I had to choose from the same shop between shabby patchwork or you know strawberry fields or whatever or sugared almonds i'd choose those definitely i love the sugared almonds kit so i guess we need to find something to put in this envelope really Just see if that fits. Sometimes they're a bit too long, as I think this one is. Yeah, it's too long. Max says hi. Hi, Max. Thanks for joining. And Kathleen's got to go. She'll watch you later. Oh, all right, Kathleen. Thanks for nipping on anyway. Appreciate it. It's quite a bit too long, this one. Chop that off. Right, so I want to um, colour ink this up because it's just um, plain white. So when you open the envelope, that's all you'll see is just plain white. Oops. You could use a stencil here. Uh, if you wanted to make it really fancy or you could if you wanted to uh, back it with some more paper Pen oh, turn to scrumple it. Uh, depends how you feel what you want to do so let's glue this up then and we'll see what we're going to put in it Um, I'm just going to run a little bit of glue along there and along here. don't really need it because I put glue on the other side, but I can't help myself. or something it doesn't want to meet now you meet right so that's that that's our little seed packet okay so what we're going to find to pop in there then let's see what our choices are shall we um That, that, these are all our tags, journaling cards, oh yeah these are probably the right size, there's that one, that's really pretty, it's a really pretty image, uh, that one or that one which we've used one a bit similar to, but this one is the winner, yay! So yeah, I, I mean, do I need to back that? Possibly. But then if I back it, it's probably going to be just a bit too thick for what I want. So I'm just going <coughs> to um, see if I can find a stencil of some sort. That's probably appropriate, actually. Max says she's in trouble. You keep introducing her all these digital kits and she just knows she's run out of printer ink. 
<laughs> printer ink. When uh, when when I sell anything, printer ink is always the first thing that I buy with the money because I know that I'm just always going to need printer ink. It's just, you know, a given. So these, uh, this stencil here, I hope you can see it. It's from the Tim Holtz Wildflower Collection and I actually die cut it onto some mylar. So I have effectively got a stencil. Not all of them are suitable for that because some are bits that drop out, but um, this particular one is. Take your eight journals said you've dragged them out of bed to get the laptop so they can join in the chat. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting blamed for everything today. <laughs> that should just colour it just a little bit on the back. Just looks like you've taken some care with it. Um, and I did have another one in there, I think. The long leaf one. That's a nice one as well. So I'll just pop that up that side there. Hold it down. It's, it's easier with a, a dobber, this, than uh, these the brushes. I haven't got a dobber absolutely to hand so there we are get the picture I mean that's just it just says to somebody who turns it over oh they did care enough to do something you know um so that's grand actually while I've got that out I should just ink around the back not thinking just lightly I don't I don't want much ink on this one as I say, the kit itself comes with this sort of faux inking on it, um, which I really could live without. I like to decide myself what colour ink to use and um, how much of it to use, etc. Um, but I sound like I'm on a downer to ch with chapter one, and I'm not. I love, you know, some of their kits are just adorable. So there we are, that just looks a bit more cared for. And it will go into our packet, like so. And then it can just get popped onto the into the the tuck spot that we've got. Let me just wipe that off in case there's any ink hanging around. So that's the first thing that's going to go into there. We also know that a journaling card is going to go into there. Don't, I'm not sure if I've backed any of those. No, I need to back one of those. Just decide which one I want. Um, oh, I haven't stuck my butterfly on yet. They're all nice, aren't they? These are the full... You get these in the full size, A4 size, um, with this kit. And they really are lovely. I don't want that one because it's the same as that. But I do like that one. I do like that one. I think I'll go for this one. It's just got a bit more around the outside. So I'm going to back that onto some um, card because it's too uh, flimsy on its own to be a journaling card. So I'm just going to stick that down. I'll use my big collar. So has everybody sorted out what they're doing for Christmas then? I mean, this COVID isn't good for much and it's a horrible thing and not to be taken lightly by anybody. I appreciate that. But it's quite good as an excuse to get out of going places at Christmas. <laughs> If you don't mind me saying so. Oh, we we would love to come. We really would. But, you know, with with this COVID around, I think it's best we just stay home. <laughs> Not that I have anybody to say that to. But if I did, that is what I would say. Because I'm quite antisocial. And Mr. F's very antisocial. <laughs>
There we are. Just leave that for a sec for it to set up just a little bit. So we're making progress. I've got to stick my butterfly on yet. Oh, the excitement. I could put him there like that. That looks nice actually like that, flying into the page. Or there, flying out of the page, which also looks nice. It sort of takes your eye on a little journey. Um, hmm. I'm going to make another one of these, Lorna, another one of these uh, folio things. And uh, I was just looking at your shabby, is it shabby chic wallpaper set, I think it's called. Or maybe it's grungy wallpaper. I can't remember because they're just absolutely all beautiful. And yeah, I feel one of these coming up in your wallpapers. I think they'd be perfect for the job. Shall I stick my butterfly on? Yeah, let's do that. Just going to just put a little bit of ink around the edges. I don't want to ink the butterfly. I just want to get kill that white paper. There we go. I'm not going to stick him on yet. Whoa, the decisions about sticking this butterfly on. How exciting can it get? I just want to see what it looks like with this journaling card in place. I think all junk journalers are ditherers. I watch Julie at Camellia Crafts and she's just like I am. Shall I do this? Shall I do that? Oh, I don't know. Spoilt for choice is what we are. Right, so that's going to go right in the back there like that. And I've got that there. Right, so do I want my butterfly? <laughs> the leading question of the day. Do I want it there? I like it there. Or there, or no. there, no, there, yeah, okay. Mr. F has spoken, so that's where it's going. I'm gonna stick it down flat. You could, if you want, put dimensional tape under it and raise it up a little bit, but on this occasion. I don't know, he'd look quite not. No, he's going flat. Stop flapping around with this butterfly. Get stuck down. There we are. I know, Jen, that you will be saying put a gem in it. I know. <laughs> but I don't know if this is a gem like journal. I can't decide yet. If if it is a gemmy type thing. Then I'll put one in the butterfly and I'll put a little one in each of these little stars here and really gem it up. But as it stands, I'm not sure that it is. Lona says there's two that are grungy and shabby chic. She just got fed up with calling them grungy. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, right. I see. Um, yeah, so I just need to go and have a, have a good look. What is Twelve. Twelve? If you put wallpaper into tailor-made journals, then it comes up with twelve. I'll just go for the ones that have got the chartreuse colours in, because they're my favourites. Seven sets of grungy, that I can see. And three sets of antique shabby. All right, okay. And two vintage end papers and wallpapers. Yeah. Making 12, I think. Goodness me. A lot of choice, guys. So this this envelope, this is going to be folded over. So I don't want to make that really any fatter than it is. I think that's fine. I mean, we have got spines, got a spine there. But I want to leave some space in the spine for the journal that we're going to put in. So, you know, I'm encroaching on that already. Um, but I do want to put something on here, definitely. 
Um, it's it's nice. It's lovely paper. It's all lovely paper. But I, I think I just want something on there. So I could put that little um, corner fold on there. Little tuck spot. Or I could make this into a tuck spot, which I was talking to you about before, which I quite like. It's nice. It's definitely in keeping. Or I could do that and put that in there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. Can I fold that without scoring it? No, I'm just... No, don't get lazy on the job. You won't be happy with the outcome. I know. So yeah, I was asking you if you were all sorted for Christmas. We are sorted, aren't we? We don't do anything about it. So we're definitely sorted. It must be lovely if you've got little ones. Right. Okay. Let's just check. Yeah, you see that's sticking out there. Can't be doing with that. I'll just get rid of that. Okay. Let's put this onto here. Oh no, I need lace on it first. Goodness gracious me, I nearly forgot the lace. Where would we be? It just makes such a difference. It's got to be done. It's absolutely got to be done. Um, so my Fabri-Tac. I haven't come across a glue that is better for fabrics than Fabri-Tac. You know, I haven't used every glue in the world, obviously. Um, but, you know, given the choice between Collal or Aileen's or whatever, Fabri-Tac certainly does the job very well. And it doesn't stick immediately, immediately. So you get a bit of a second chance if necessary. But it does stick in a timely manner. So you're not sitting there holding it for three years. It's not cheap, especially this side of the pond. I've no idea what it's like in the States. Um, but it's, it's certainly not cheap here. So there, I mean, it's, it's holding that now. It's gripping it which is excellent. So making sure, of course, that you've got those all caught in, which I think I have. Oh, not those scissors, they're blunt. So I'm just going to put that sort of there. I think it looks okay. Looks okay. So what? Are, what's everybody making? Please tell me. I do like to know. I'm very nosy. Are you making journals? Are you making Christmas cards? Are you making ephemera? Tell me what you're making. You guys always get to see what I'm making because I share it with you. So please share it with me. Jean's got to go. Oh, okay, Jean. Time for church. You look after yourself, please. I could do with one less person to worry about. Right, there we are. Okay, so I think that looks quite nice. Um, and we have that little seed packet that we could put in. Or I have. So she's a... making a birthday card for us. Who is? Kerry. Kerry. Oh, very nice. Uh, we have this selection of tags that I have already cut out and backed. That's nice. It picks up the lace really nicely. I like that. And then we've got two. Well, this this is it. This is the selection, guys. 
this is what you get with the kit and they're all really nice but I think I'm going to select that one and the one that I've already tucked in like that and they both have these sort of faux reinforcements is that going to stay there I'm not entirely sure that it is. Amelia says they're making a custom order of an Edith journal. Oh! Jenny says she makes whatever you make. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it doesn't look doesn't look right. I want. Would we get away with a big journal and card on the front there? And Jen says she can see me and you and Bobby sitting on that bench. You can't see us now. I've covered it up <laughs> for the best. That would fit in if I just shaved a whisker off it, which I can do. Yeah, I might just shave a whisker off that and put that in there. I mean, that, you know, you're allowed to do that. If you didn't want to shave a whisker off it, put it into your software, into Word or whatever, and just shrink it down, uh, just like Mr. F showed you how to do. I do that quite a lot, actually, um, play with the sizes of things so as I get them the right size for the project that I'm working on. Um, chapter one in this instance, I've kindly done it for us and given us these journaling cards. Uh, so Sharon says she's still working on the LGB. Fair enough. Uh, Bernice is making a birthday card for a hubby. Oh. Lovely. Yeah, and Jenny says, oh yes, and she's still making the Christmas LGB. <laughs> well, hurry up, get them finished, and then you can start on some nice new projects. I've still got Winter Wonderland. Hello. Yeah, it's still there. It's still there. Waiting for... Well, I'm going to crack on with it this week, actually. Um, so you probably see me putting out some videos of um, me working on it. Let's see what this looks like then. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. It's going to sit in there. It's going to get grabbed in there quite nicely. And I think I need to put it in that way because the wording looks a bit weird. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's going to, it's going to stay in there, especially once I back it. So let's just get this backed. But you see, you can have great fun. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing with this little one, but never mind. Um, doing all the, the decorative stuff. And if you wanted, you know, if you had another lilac uh, kit that you wanted to mix in with it, I just didn't want to mix anything in with a chapter one kit because I wanted you to see just how pretty it is and um, all the stuff that you get with it, you know, all the ephemera. Which is great, because usually it's an add-on kit, isn't it, to buy the ephemera as well. Which we do, of course we do. But it's nice to get it all in one. And Deborah says she's working on the five challenge. Oh, well done, Deborah. There is just finished the bee book. Ah. She must have been making a book about bees, I guess. Uh, who's that? Uh, Terry. Terry. All oh, right. Sweet pea. Well, don't forget to post it, Terry, will you? And Linda is making a journal with a Christmas gift. Oh, lovely. We have a, a group, a Facebook group, that's associated with this, and it's called Miss Paint a Lot's Junk Journal Group. And we're very close to having 500 members, actually, which is incredible. Um, we haven't been going that awfully long. But the photograph at the top of the thing says, Be kind. It was the thing that Norella from um, Calico Collage made for me. And I'm really grateful to her. Uh, it was so nice of her to do it. Um, but that is our banner at the top, Be Kind. And that is the motto for our group. We look poorly on people who aren't kind. So poorly, in fact, that they don't get a second chance. Um, we're all very supportive in our group. And... It's a safe place. It's a safe place to pose questions that you might think are just totally ridiculous. 
it's there's no question like that you know if something's bothering you bugging you to do with junk journals post it somebody will have been there before i promise you that um and if you want to join in it's miss painter lots junk journal group you'd be very welcome um, mike says that uh, somebody needs a new shelf in the crafting space so that's his project i don't mike yeah. oh it must be that jen yeah <laughs> and jen says mike my craft room needs more shelves it's a mess in there lol <laughs> I don't know how any how how does anybody keep it clean? Somebody said the last time when I had a clean up that what they do is at the end of every day they put everything away so it's all nice and clean when you go back to it. Well I tried that, but all that happened was I lost everything that I'd put away. And yeah, you know, spend half an hour looking for all the things I'd put away. <laughs> So uh, now as a consequence, I'm kind of getting back to being a bit untidy. So R. Dixie says, so is that for sale or for somebody or are you keeping it for yourself? It will be for sale. It will be in my new Made Me shop. Link below the video. Link below the video, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, now I've backed this. It's got that little bit of extra thickness about it. And... It wants to sit in there really nicely, like that. Yeah, that's pleased with that. This needs some ribbon on it, a tag of some description. Let's just do that, seeing as we're on the topic. Let's get my thin purple ribbon out. Oh, sorry to introduce you to this ribbon box again. bit like my life there you go look how organized I thought I was going to be at one stage so I've got this nice um, lilac -y color and I've got purple and I want to um, pull the knot tight with that if you know what I mean you don't but I'll show you in a minute so let's just Cut that hole out. There we go. And I want some nice ribbon. This stuff here, in fact. Don't need too much of it. About there. Probably sufficient. This is the ratty side, so I'll shove it through. Get cut off in a minute. There we are. Mr. F told me if I hang, if I put a peg on that, it keeps it down. Yes, he's right. Um, so I'll just remove the pin that's holding this ribbon in place. I'm quite taken with myself that I did all this. That was that time when I had that massive tidy up. So I'm just going to put that under there and see if I can tie a bow. Chances are I can't, but we'll give it a go. I'm going to double knot that because my bow is bound to come undone even if I can manage to get one done. Now this will be for sale in my Made Me shop. But um, I don't know when. Really, I don't know when. Because I do want to get on with that uh, winter, winter, blue winter journal. So just trim those ends off. See, I didn't say anything about it and I managed to tie a bow. Just trim that one off on the diagonal. Let me just put the pin back in this. <laughs> that was me saying that. Right, let's have a look then what we've got. Yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? It's a really nice ribbon then. Okay, so what have we achieved then? Let's have a little bit of a roundup. We have made, or I've shown you how to make, um, the actual 
the carcass, if you like, of the journal, which is this. And you've got all the measurements, but don't despair because I'll take a photograph of it and put it on the Facebook group for you. So you know what you what you're up to. And then uh, I had previously covered it with this chapter one papers um, shabby purple florals kit, it's called. And I'd put lace around it and it is my intention to put um, some other lace that I showed you. Not this one, but it's similar down the, the spines on the outside. So that's that done. We put the two um, brads in with the double thickness card there around them before we put the inside paper on. Because that way then when you push your brad through and you've got the teeth, feet, legs, legs coming out, you cover it over with the with the inside paper. Lorna says she's going to send you a new winter kit. Are you Lorna? She only posted it yesterday because she says you're not busy enough. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Oh my goodness me, Lorna. Thank you so much. That's really nice. I will, of course, show the group. It's only fair. <coughs> we we work pretty much in this group on total disclosure. So usually if, I, if I've been gifted anything by anyone, I'll let everybody know. But, you know, I never work on the premise that I've been gifted it. So I have to say it's nice. Um I've never come across any that I haven't liked, mind you. <laughs> but your wallpapers, I think, really struck a chord with uh, with my ladies and Mike. Um, they, they really seem to like them and for very good reason. I love them too. So this is the envelope on the end, the floppy bit on the end. We've put a little corner tuck in. We've put lace down the lead and edge. Journaling card that's backed tag that's backed and I will go through and ink the back of these maybe put some stencils on them just to cheer them up a little bit lace down there and then we've got this big uh, journaling tag in there nice big journaling tags and get all your thoughts down on there these two little journaling cards in the um, twin pockets here like so and then we moved on to this page put a little corner tuck in journaling card seed packets with a little insert and then this very simple collage but it's quite effective i think i quite like it i'll show you it close up nice isn't it i love pansies actually they were my mum's favorite flower pansies so um i think it just rubs off on you doesn't it you know so there we are we are now down to merely decorating this and anything you want to do with this um, but I think that you can perhaps carry on on your own from here. I think you'd be all right. It is my intention to use some fabric. Oh, come on. I just found this just before. Yeah, this fabric. It's that uh, cotton. I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a calico, but it's like um, denim. I'd say it's a denim weave, actually, but it's cream. And I'm going to rip that down here. So I've got phrase on each side and I'm going to put that down there where my journal is going to go. Just to doubly, trebly, quadruply reinforce it. Um, so, you know, it can really stand some, some use. So that's going there. I'm going to put a journal, which you all know how to do because you watched me yesterday do it. Of course, the measurements will be different, but you, I know you're able to do it. If you get stuck in any way, shape or form, let me know and I'll do a quick video for you and get you through the bit that you're stuck on. Um, and apart from that, it's looking gorgeous, isn't it? The more I use this chapter one paper, actually, the nicer I like it. Max says she loves your top and Nancy <laughs> says muslin, question mark. No, it's not, Nancy. It's, it's really like a denim weave, you know, like a pair of jeans, except it's cream. I don't know what you call that. I think you can get denim that isn't denim coloured. And if you can, this is it. It's um, it's quite thick and it's quite strong. 
and I don't know where I got it from which is a shame because I could use more of it because I really know that will support the journal you know support that spine right guys well I'll see you in the week Mr F will see you tomorrow and he's doing his take five which is six days since I did my take five so he's pushing it a bit um <laughs> <laughs> Life on the edge. Oh dear. And then on Tuesday, I will be back with a take five. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not exactly certain what it's going to... Well, I'm, I say I'm not exactly certain, like I've got some idea what it's going to be. I just need to select the finer points. I haven't got a clue what it's going to be. But Jen seems to find the colour themes quite difficult. And I think a lot of you have particularly this week with green. You'd think it would be easy, wouldn't you? Botanicals being green, but I struggled with it too. So I might choose another dastardly colour, sky blue, pink with yellow dots on. Hey, Jean, uh, Jen, who knows? But watch on Tuesday at two o'clock uh, and you will see me doing my version of the take five. I'll probably pop up through the week, but it might be videos that I'm doing. As I say, I've got to finish... The Winter Journal, Lorna's sending me a kit, which has obviously just got to be used then and there. Um, so that might, well, that probably will be next weekend's live, actually. So if you get stuck with this, message me and I'll sort you out. I'll help you out with it. Um, it's really looking pretty now, isn't it? I was in two minds about this shabby purple and, you know, I really, really like it now. I do, actually. So there we go. Thanks. You all right there? Mike says it's gorgeous. Oh, thanks, Mike. And thank you to us both. Well, thank you. I mean, what would be the point in us being here if you weren't there? None. So thanks very, very much, everybody, for joining us. And I'll see you through the week. Don't forget Mr. F tomorrow at two o'clock. And uh, he's pulling a really funny face. <laughs> see you. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow.